Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and this is probably going to be the last VHS horror collection for the summer of 2016. We will be going into the fall soon, so I will have some from the fall, probably. So, this is the last one. I just wanted to, I picked up a couple, and I wanted to show you guys, show you guys these before I left to go to school. Now, this first one is not horror, but in honor of the Olympics, I figured I should. So I found this one. This is a special collector series of 16 Days of Glory, the 1984 Summer Olympics. So I thought that this was pretty cool, and I love the Olympics, so I definitely wanted to pick this up and watch it. Next, we have a movie called Wolfen. Now, I have no idea what this is. Well, it's supposedly about these people who were victims in a killing, but somebody believes that they might be paranormal or deliberate, or, and deliberate. So basically, I believe this is a werewolf movie. So that'll be interesting. Then, this one I've been looking for for a while. I've actually never watched it, but it's called The Craft. And I'm looking forward to watching this for sure. It's got Nev Campbell in it. And she's really the only one I know. But she was in Scream. Loved her. Alright, so then we have The Ice Cream Man. This one looked interesting. It is... It kind of reminds me of The Dentist. So I look forward to watching this. Apparently a guy who is a ice cream man and also a killer. Oh, we have The Boogans. And this one looked interesting. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, it says that after 100 years they have reawoken. And it's got a little quote here, and it says, I recommend... It has a quote here, and it says, I recommend the Boogans cheerfully and heart heartedly. And that was by Stephen King. And then he says, wildly energetic monster movie. So it looks interesting. I think it's about a mining town. I think that's what I read. And they find something under or in the mine. So that definitely looks interesting. Definitely looking forward to checking that out. Then we have this one. This one also sounded kind of interesting. It's called Hell's Gate. And it's basically about this mental patient who, when she finds out that her doctor is going on vacation, she escapes from the asylum and starts killing people. It seemed interesting. I have never watched it, so I figured I would give it a shot. It's by Artisan Home Entertainment. They are the same people who did the Blair Witch Project. So then next, I found these at two different places, but I'm glad that I found both of them. We have Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. And these are pretty cool. Uh, definitely good movies. I enjoyed the second one more than I most people probably. I don't know, I like the whole idea of it taking place on like a bus, so that was pretty cool. These are probably the only two that I've actually watched out of these, but I, I definitely need to get the Scream Factory releases, so hopefully I'll be able to do that in soon enough. So then we have this one. I've never watched it. I didn't really even know that it existed, but it's called Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And it has quite a few pretty big name people in it. It has Helena Bonham, Bonham Carter. It has the front, it says it has Robert De Niro in it. I was like, whoa. It's got Frank Darabont. I don't know if, you, if that's how you say his name, but it has, he's one of the, he did the screenplay, so that's pretty cool. So definitely look forward to checking that one out. And then this last one, 
I don't know. I think I watched the trailer for it, and it looked kind of interesting. It, but it's called Killing Zoe. And, I don't know, it's something about a bank robbery, and it says that it's in the tradition of Reservoir Dogs, and also from the creators of Pulp Fiction and True Romance. But I don't think that... Oh, nope, I lied. Okay, so Quentin Tarantino was the executive producer on it. I was going to say that I did not think that Quentin Tarantino had anything to do with it because his name wasn't really on it, but it says that he was an executive producer. So that looks like it for my last, hopefully last, uh, summer VHS haul for lack of a better word, but that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and hope you guys have a great day. Bye.